Westpac, how did it happen? Did the leaders have to go? Will there be a trade deal with Donald Trump and his Chinese buddies and seven hot stocks? from Seven Hot Tipsters. I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. Um, we we about, about money. money. Well, Peter, I'm mad this morning that I don't have one of those great t-shirts you're wearing for the NAB Charity Trading Day. Yes, and it's all for an interesting charity linked to the drought. Can you call it out, Paul? It's the Burren Botic, Botic Hay Runners, which I gather is an organization uh, delivering hay across New South Wales and yeah. other states and they've raised a lot of money and the drought continues particularly in the eastern seaboard of Australia. And there's a town called Burren Bay. There is Did a town know? called I didn't know that. I looked it up on Google a little while ago, Peter. So we're expert on that. Now let's move on to uh, NAB Charity Trading Day. This is a day, this is a day all their brokerage uh, is donated to the um, to the charity. Yep. And so if you go, if you're a NAB Trade client or you want to sign up to be a NAB Trade client. Good day to do it. Good day to do it the brokerage goes and uh, they'll help raise you money for that fantastic charity. Okay, so that's one bank yep. with an interesting issue. Another bank that's had an interesting issue was Westpac. It really copped it to... Uh, look, look, it did. Look, and look, to be honest, question, Peter, look, did they have to go? Absolutely. They should have realised it on yeah. Friday last week. It was obvious to anybody that um, yeah. digging their heels in was not going to work. The, the, the bang for blood is just so ferocious. Yeah. And we saw it in the share price yesterday because as soon as they went, the share price went back up. If they'd mm. stayed, the share price would have kept on going down. So now there probably has to be a few more casualties. I think a couple more on the board probably needs to go. There will be some executives. Um, I'm going to write an article tomorrow. I don't think Westpac is quite as bad as people are making it out to be, but there's no friends when it comes to uh, association okay. with, with so child, what you're child going extortion to do, and child yeah, pornography yeah, and this. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the critical issue. Yeah, even if there's only a small proportion of their mistakes involve that kind of oversight, it's brand damage. Yeah. It's not caring about the, the victims. It's not caring about the shareholders. And, and when you're running an organisation like this, which is tested by a share price, as a CEO, you have to be mindful of that, haven't you? And what was amazing to me, Peter, particularly after Commonwealth Bank, but this is a wake-up call to any CEO, these days, if the press goes for you, whatever yeah. it is, and the politicians jump on board, you cannot survive. That's right. Right? They, they dug in. Yeah. Like, they Stop. unnecessarily dug in. And yeah. you would have thought that they saw what happened to Commonwealth Bank 18 months ago. They've seen what's happened to other companies get caught up in situations, not different yeah. types of situations, you cannot survive, yeah. right? Doesn't matter how right you might be, yeah. if the press and all the politicians and it, they all pile in, all pile in, and they did in this case, you've got to go. So yeah. the sooner you do it, the better for your shareholders, and that's a lesson for a yeah. lot of company executives out there and boards. Yeah. The market and the customers and we, we, we want we want culprits, particularly out of big business. Yeah, and I think the bottom line is this. They made big mistakes. There were genuine victims from that mistakes, and people had to go. And it's the best thing you can do for your organisation is get the people responsible and get them out of here. Okay, the Trump trade deal, Paul. The market was up uh, yesterday big time on a phone call from Beijing to someone in the White House, and the market loved it. The market does love this. It wants a trade deal, Peter. I'm worried about if there isn't going to be a trade deal. Oh, don't think talk about yeah, we've got uh, we've got Wall Street hitting record highs, mm. and you know, the, the U.S. market wants to buy it. And if you haven't been long this year, you've missed out because Huge. you know the trend is your friend, right? Yeah. And the Australian market is getting dragged along, and that's why we're going higher. It's, it's mm. really the only reason. Uh, the interesting um, thing is our economy is not doing all that well. But do you reckon, Paul, if there is a, a trade deal? confidence will improve and that will help the economy well, I, think the, I think a trade deal will help confidence. It will certainly help spending. I think Reserve Bank should take off the agenda any idea of any more rate cuts. That was Agreed. just confidence destroying. Tick. Get off it, right? Yeah. It was unnecessary. Uh, and look, look let's, let's hope that Donald finally does something. He needs it for his election campaign. Yeah. The market needs it. So I think the risk is if he doesn't, uh, uh, when he announces it, I'm not sure what it does for the market, but in the expectation, if we get, keep on getting positive vibes every yeah. day, the market in the US is going to keep on yeah. buying it up. Going into Thanksgiving, that's all positive. The US, the Yanks, they love Thanksgiving. Love it's Thanksgiving. a time of goodwill yeah. and turkeys. sharing and saying thanks to turkeys everybody. For turkeys for turkeys. Turkeys for turkeys. So we, we, we've probably got a good couple of weeks in the market coming up, yeah. providing Donald can actually get Pull that some deal sort off. of deal done. Okay, seven hot stocks from seven hot tipsters. Now, this was a story I wrote in the Switzer Report. And if people want to read this, they're going to have to take out a free trial. Or if yeah, that's really tough taking out a free trial. A free so come trial. on, if you have a free trial cost. 
nothing. Much <laughs> then you got to be a subscriber, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Sorry, want to, we want to be a subscriber after. So the five companies, I'll quickly give them to you. Mineral Resources, that's M-I-N. A2. I've been tipping A2 milk for yeah. a while, Peter. AMA, yep. yes. Is that like a, a company in the car repairs and all that sort of stuff? Spotify, who doesn't use Spotify nowadays? An American company called Floor and Decor, run by the guy who ran Home Depot. And some Aussie fund manager reckon this is a real guy. HM1, Hearts and Minds. Uh, so this is a list investment. investment company from the Hearts and Minds uh, the, the Son Foundation, which yeah. has done pretty well. It's a lick, isn't and it? It's a lick, and they're actually, I think they're actually raising some more capital. Um, yeah. Up 25.6% last yeah, year. Yeah, done well, but not as well as WC or the West Coast uh, WCM, the firm we're associated with, and uh, their list investment company and also their yeah. exchange traded fund. Yeah, we've interviewed these guys before. They're from Laguna Beach, California. and like That's where the surf rolls in, right? Yeah. And if you're not yeah. on the surf... Good, good you're not in the office point. for a bit, and then you're on the golf course. Is okay, right? get back to the point. <laughs> Palm, <laughs> Palm, Palm yeah. Springs? No, Palm Springs. Okay. Uh, anyway, something exciting yeah, on the yeah, West okay. Coast. Anyway, right? look, we, we, think Mag we think Magellan's a great fund manager. Yeah. Like, but these, yeah, guys, but these guys have actually slightly beat, beaten them. 29% last year was their ETF. But there's another product, the WC. Yeah, list investment company, WCQ. I've got to declare an interest payment. I'm yeah. a director of that, but it's still a bit cheap. Trading a discount, it's been closed. Yeah. And I think... Um, well, one thing a lot of people understand, with a lick, when there's a discount, how does a discount... And explain what a discount is and how yeah. it closes. So a discount is just trading. We, we measure uh, the underlying value of the assets, and that's if the effectively if the lick stopped... Because list investment companies just hold things like shares, right? Yeah. So they're all liquid assets. And the value of the company yep. is the value and of the shares. And the list investment companies just stop business tomorrow and say, look, we're going to sell all our assets and refund the money back to the shareholders. Mm. That's what you'd get for each share. So that's what's called the NTA, net tangible asset value. At the moment, it's bigger than what yeah, the market's some, valuing. Sometimes what people are buying and selling on the ASX is different to what the NTA is. And, mm. and if, it, and if the uh, price where it's, it's changing hands on the ASX is less than the NTA, we call that a discount. A discount. If it's more, it's a premium. So a lot of, some licks are trading at a discount. And potentially, that means there's a bit of extra value to be had there. Yeah. Uh, and it went closed over time, you hope, by yeah. people just... More buyers coming And in. Jeff Wilson, who's a famous fund manager, once said to us at one of our conferences, he said, I've always wanted to try and buy a dollar for 80 cents. And that's why people do buy good quality licks. They are a discount. But you've got to keep your fingers crossed that the market wakes up and closes that discount because you then get sort of a double return, don't you? That's right. The discount return plus yeah, the fund. And look, it doesn't close in every listed investment company, but generally if a listed investment company's got good performance, which this does, underlying investment yeah. performance, and it's big enough and it's attractive enough, a great manager, the, the, the discount should close and should go almost back to a little premium. Okay, know. well, let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. And we're mad, mad about, about money. money. Shh.